Francois Papa Doc Duvalier was elected president of Haiti in 1957. By 1959, he had created a secret police called Tonton Makut, and people started to flee. Uh, most of them settled in the southern United States. Now, mixed in with the good, hard-working people were hardened criminals. Uh, they formed the backbone of what became the Haitian gang. Now, Lincoln found out they set up in the swamps and were led by a man named Baca. Uh, you and Father James done already? We got jumped by the Haitians. It's time you level with me. Tell me what's really going on. Yes. I suppose it is. Six, uh, seven months ago, folks in the hollow started getting robbed. Money, jewelry, things of that nature. Didn't take long for us to figure out it was the Haitians. Then those batas on Velo started going after the lottery. How much money are we talking about? How much? Enough that we're in deep shit with Sal Marcano. Haven't kicked up to him in three months. Jesus Christ. If I deal with them, that gives us time to settle up with Marcano, right? Let me worry about Sal. He and I go way back. With this thing with the Haitians, it's time for it to end. You and Ellis need to handle it. How are we gonna find them? Back in the 20s, folks used to pull salt out of the bayou. They even built themselves a little shanty town. When the depression hit, they abandoned it. That's the only place this could have come from. We're gonna need guns and ammo. Call this number. Do it away from here. No sense tipping anybody off. Or we could sweep the hollow, track down and kill every last one of those cocksuckers, then we wouldn't have to worry about it. The last thing folks in this neighborhood need to see is colored people killing each other. Do this quiet, away from here. Once we eliminate whoever's running the show, the rest of them will go down on their own. Trust me. All right, soldier boy, I'll follow your lead. Be careful, yeah? Those Haitians are a hard people. Do not ever underestimate them. C'est lui qui sait diverses ses suscites hostilité. Show this is how you want to play this. Last thing they're going to expect is an attack from the water. You head back round to the row. Stay with the car. I'll meet you over there when this is done. Hope you know what you're doing. Trust me, Ellis. Here in a bit, this will all be behind us. Should have killed that old man a long time ago. Think the boss was worried that Sammy would involve Marcano. Ask him to come down on us. That cracker asshole don't give a shit about some worn out nigga. Long as the money's coming in, Marcano. Wait, your people, Katsuka. Let's do this. Reloading.
many men we're sending? Two teams. One's gonna hit the bar. The other's going after Perlis. Boss says if we have to burn down half the hollow to get Sammy... Papa leg by open the gate. Stopping to that old man. Him, Ellis, and the other one. Ninkin Clay. He's the one. This time he won't get away from us. I think the boss was worried that Sammy would involve Marcano. Ask him to come down on us. That cracker asshole don't give a shit about some worn out nigger. Long as the money's coming in, Marcano don't care who's handing it to him. Fuck you! You made a big mistake going after the hollow. Hollow! 
The man you're talking about took me in when I had nowhere else to go. You are no better than you. You can't take a show! You fucking pig! Damn you to her! Take it easy! Take it easy! Take it easy! He kept me in there, locked in there, day and night. Beat me, use me! I kiss you, motherfucker! You and your entire goddamn family! He's dead! He's dead! He can't hurt you anymore. It's over. Over? Over? <laughs> this is never going to be over. Pajam! Fucking Haitians. Shit! Shit! I'm taking cover! Send me spoilers in there! Kill him! <laughs> Need some help. Don't think about it. Shoot him. We ain't your people, Katsuga. Get him. Get you out of trouble, don't I? You old? I am. How'd it go with Baka? Well, we came to an understanding. He stayed dead, not let him. Let's get back to Sammy's. Can't even tell you how happy Pops is gonna be. Man, this shit with the Haitians has been weighing on him. But with them out the way, things will calm down. Go back to the way they should be. Been telling him for months we needed to do something like this, but Pops, he... 
don't know. Sometimes I think he's lost the taste for this shit. Just because a man don't rush to violence don't mean he lost something. I know, just makes me wonder what happens after, you know? No, I don't know. Explain it to me. It don't matter if it's a bullet or the hand of God. We all go sometime, right? I suppose. But Ellis, we don't need to talk about I pray that Pops outlives the both of us. But if he doesn't, every motherfucker in the hollow is going to be looking to us or gunning for us. Just saying we got to be ready when that day comes. Yeah, well, that's not something we got to worry about right now. So just cool it with your grand plans, all right? Yeah, all right. Fuck it, it's your car. Bash it up all you want. Fang Lankin didn't understand, or maybe want to understand, is that for a man like Sammy, there's always going to be more Haitians. Now, if there wasn't someone going after Sammy, then there was someone else forcing him into a bad situation. It was never going to end. That's how Lincoln ended up working for Sal Marcano. You were right about those Haitians being down by that old salt mine. They won't be bothering us again. It was a mistake sending you down there. I should handle my own business. This isn't any different than what I was doing before I left. You probably don't know this. But every night on the TV, right after the news, they show the names of all the boys killed over there in Vietnam. I'd be sitting in the kitchen eating my supper, watching that list scroll by, wondering if today is the day I finally see your name. But you never did. Nothing happened to me. There's only so much luck down the web. Sooner or later, I pull up that bucket, there's nothing in it. So, what are we gonna do about Marcano? Damn, it's got damn money one way or the other. Lottery gonna be enough to cover it? The lottery? <laughs> no. But Sal called a bit ago. Wants you to meet him up the country club. Says he's got something in the works. Square things up between us. The only black folk allowed in there to help. Now, they may not like it, but they're not gonna say no to Sal Marcano. He says you get to come in, you get to come in. Fine. I always did want to see the inside of that place. You need to do whatever Sal asks, yeah? For all our sakes. Yes, sir. Son, dear listener. What? To put a little more fuel on the fire today. <laughs> yes, thankfully, my producer Gilbert. Uh, thank you, Gilbert. He was kind enough to bring me in a full thermos of coffee from downtown's own tasty patisserie. Mm. Ah, just hits the spot. You all out there know what I'm talking about. Yes, you do. Oh, and Nancy wanted me to remind you. That tasty patisserie is still filling orders for king cakes for the upcoming Mardi Gras festivities. Now you tell her Remy sent you, and if you buy two, get one free. Can't beat that. So go on over there and tell her I sent you. Hmm. I know, I know, I'm not supposed to enjoy my coffee on air. <laughs> oh, Gilbert's turning red, folks. <laughs> oh, I tell you, we like to have our fun, dear listener. 
And that's what Mardi Gras is going to be all about. Good old-fashioned New Bordeaux F-U-N. And if I sound a little enthusiastic, well, I'm sorry about it. But I am. I've talked before about being honored to be part of a crew of knights for the 10th year running. We got a heck of a flow plan for y'all, and we have spared no expense in strutting our stuff. Now, this will be my first crew since my dad died last year. Dear listener, you know how important Mardi Gras was to him. God rest his soul, he was one of the crew of Knight's Founders. He was captain for more years than I can remember, and Daddy was wrecked back in 1932, for those of you whose memories go all the way back then. Oh, you know, I'll tell you, he'd spend weeks, that months, preparing. Mm. More than anything else, it was the tradition, the feeling of being part of something. Of this city that he loves so. My father believed that every man had his role to play, and every role contributed to the greater whole. Those Reds over in Russia, even the ones here at home, they try to sell that as he quote. <laughs> no, sir. There's always gonna be a king. And each king has his day. I'll tell you, that coffee sure is fine. On the next episode, you better believe we're gonna talk about this here story that President Johnson is considering. The fuck you doing up here? Help goes into the back. I'm, uh, I'm here to see Mr. Marcano. The name's Lincoln Clay. That a fact? I'll be goddamned. Mind your manners while you're in there, boy, or there'll be hell to pay, you hear? Park over to the side. <laughs> Lincoln Clay! Christ, man, get a look at you! I bet those fucking gooks shit themselves when they saw you coming. Been a long time, Georgie. Oh, no shit has been a long time. I think the last time I saw you was that night over in the French Ward, right before you shipped out. <laughs> Damn if that wasn't a gas. Oh, I seem to remember me and Ellis running from the cops, uh, and Danny ending up in the drunk tank. Hell, man, I bailed him out. Besides, just worked it to knock the hell out of them cracker assholes. <laughs> Smoke? Sure. <laughs> Oh, man. Sammy said Mr. Marcano wanted to see me. Mr. Marcano? Shit. Make him sound like a goddamn lawyer. You just call him Sal. Come on, he's in the back. <laughs> I should've wore something else. Hey, these squares have a problem with your threads. You can take it up with my old man. He'll tell him to kiss his ass. <laughs> nice thing about having fuck you money. Olivia, I hate to cut this short, darling, but I've got a meeting coming up. Remy, a pleasure as always, sir. Two more glasses. <laughs> Lincoln. Good to see you. This is Vito Scaletta. He's the one I've been telling you about. Come on, Lincoln, sit down. So you served in Vietnam, huh? Yes, sir. Sal tells me uh, you earned a few pieces of tin over there. Well, I served with some good men. Nothing I did would happen without them. Army? Marines? Regular army at first, and then I was recruited to the 5th SFG. Special Forces. I told you it was something else. Now, not that anything's gonna go wrong, but just in case, goddamn, don't you want a man like that on your side? Well, if you're vouching for him, Sal, that's good enough for me. <laughs> Look, I got a couple things to take care of. Thanks for the drink. Christ, that guy's an asshole. <laughs> Fucking carpetbagger. Commission sent him down here from Empire Bay about 15 years back. He's been a pain in my goddamn ass ever since. Well, I guess you're wondering what this is all about. Yeah, Sammy didn't tell me too much. Twice a year, the Feds take old money out of circulation and destroy it. Over the course of the next few days, that money's gonna be delivered here to the reserve in town. And you're gonna hit one of those shipments? <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. 
We are gonna use that occasion to gain access to their vault. And then steal everything that ain't nailed down. <laughs> Should be six, seven million in there, easy. <laughs> that's, that's pretty fucking ballsy. It's <laughs> a chance of a goddamn lifetime is what it is. Now, Vito's fronting a lot of the money for the job, and he got us the combination to the vault. Hey, you had a chance to see Danny? No, not yet. Oh, well, you will. We brought him and his old man in on this, and they're gonna need your help, so go see them. They ain't still in that same place. There's something else we gotta talk about. Now, it's safe to assume you know about the problem Sammy's been having. I took care of the Haitians. Once things settle down, money will start coming in again. You see that right there? That's what I'm talking about. You didn't sit around with your thumb jammed in your ass. You saw a problem, you went out and took care of it. God damn, I take that over money any day of the week. We pay our own way, debts and all. Always have. Oh, hell, son, I know that. I wouldn't expect otherwise. But you know, even after we all evened up, you're still gonna be slopping around in the ass end of this city. Not much of a future in that. But maybe there's a different way forward, you understand? For all of us. What'd you have in mind? I want you to know I mean no disrespect when I say this. Sammy's a hell of a man, but he's not getting any younger. And I'm thinking it's time to make a change. Well, I don't think that Ellis is ready for that kind I'm of I'm not stuff. talking about Ellis. I'm talking about you. I want you to run the holler. <laughs> I can't do that. Well, look here, if you're worried about Sammy, don't, you understand? Now, he's always been on the level with me. And this job we're talking about, there's more than enough for him to retire on. He took me in when I had nowhere else to go. He treated me like a son. I'm sorry, Mr. Marcano, I, I can't do that to him. Well, shit, son. I'd be lying if I didn't say I wasn't just a little disappointed. But I get it. You're loyal, which is something that is scarce these days. Do you still want me to help with this thing we've been talking about? <laughs> you goddamn right I do! <laughs> and when it's all done, you all be more than square with me. You have my word. <laughs> what do you really want to hear? That we'd kidnap and torture anyone suspected of working with the VC? I'm trying to ascertain the level of training that Lincoln Clay received during his time in Vietnam. Someone like that you don't need to train. You point them in the right direction and get the fuck out of their way. so long. Piece of shit drill kept overheating. You and Lincoln both still in one piece? Yeah, we good. Where's Danny? He's pushing everything off to the side so that we have room to catch the money. All right, well, once you squared away up here, we start dropping it down. We'll make it quick. Motherfuckers killed the lights. Just worry about the money. I'll deal with this.
They're trying to flush us out. Stay focused on what you're doing. There he is! Ain't those the gods claim to be from Baton Rouge? Oh, got him! This how I'm gonna get promoted, boy. You got real police incoming! Damn it, those guards will cut us down the second we make a break for it. Tell Danny he needs to get us out of here. If these bastards got us pinned down, y'all need to figure something out. I got some TNT. I put on all side of the hole and detonate it. What the fuck is that gonna accomplish? With any luck, it'll blow a hole big enough for y'all to drop down. With any luck, Danny, do you even know what the fuck you're doing? Come on, it's dynamite. How complicated could it be? It's lit. Get the fuck away from the hole. No one really knows why Sal Marcano turned on Thomas Burke, uh, but he took Point Verdun from him and gave it to an enforcer named Roman the Butcher Barbieri, who promptly busted up one of Burke's legs. Now, Danny Burke was part of the heist crew. I mean, he was a gearhead, had never done anything like this before, but Thomas Burke insisted. He figured if the heist was a success, Sal would forgive him and return Point Verdun. Trainer, all right. <laughs> hey, now I heard there ain't nothing sweeter than Vietnamese pussy. You tell me it's true. <laughs> Casanova Clay. Shit, man, it's so fucking good to see you. You too, Danny. That's Nikki. God, she wanted to be here, but I ain't remember how old. Oh, God damn, you piece of shit. Yeah, unfortunately. Come on, let's grab a beer. Wait for the old man to chill out, and then we can get down to it. Yeah. What's up, man? I already got it all set up and organized. All the girls gonna be there and everything, except we just gotta go in my cars, because we can't roll up in that beat-up piece of shit outside. <laughs> oh, you didn't just call my all-American machine a beater? I'm just saying, there better rides out there. Hey, bullshit there are. This car's a beast. I dropped the custom 358 in before we shipped out. That ain't the only thing you dropped in there. Maybe you should tell them about how you'd borrow it from Ellis and take the ladies <laughs> for a ride. Hell, man, leave me out of this. Did you fuck in my car? Mm -hmm. nah, ain't no big deal. I was always wrapped up tight. <laughs> Besides, I already got one fucking bass in my life. I don't need another one. All right, you know what? You're going to clean it. Not just the back oh. seat. Every square inch. <laughs> I don't need to be riding around sitting in your shit. Hey, and you, funny man, you going to fucking help. Like the hell I am? Shit, I didn't get any. Yeah, well, it was just new. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, you fucking jokers got about as much chance of pulling this off as I do at winning a goddamn decathlon. Oh, all right, Dad, we hear you. <laughs> Danny and Ellis, you're gonna use the drills to cut a hole up through the bottom of the vault. You and Georgie, you'll be inside. You're gonna drop the money down, then get the hell out of there. That goddamn drill ain't easy to move, though. So we need a boat, to get it through the canals and into position. Well, Ellis and I worry about the boat. See, George's old man flipped the guard at the reserve, giving you his truck. <laughs> <laughs> Between that and the uniforms, and no one gonna give us a second look. <laughs> Come on, let's get moving. Still gotta swing by Skeletters and finish up some prep work. Hey, and you two assholes, don't think this gets you off the hook when it comes to my car. Y'all best get ready to clean it. I ain't cleaning shit. Hey, you cleaning it. My father was a lot of things, few of them good. But he started out smuggling moonshine. 
so he knew about the canals underneath the city, and that one of them went right under the Federal Reserve. It was his idea to use a boat to move the drill into position. He was a real son of a bitch, my father. More than anyone else, I blame him for what happened. You want to stick your own neck out? Fine. But leave your son out of it. It's his fault Danny died. Is everyone in? We need to go! We all here! Go! Hold on! You just pissed off the wrong officer of the law. Guys, coming down through the hall! Fuck! Four guys! We need we're to get the fuck out of here! Mother the fuck! Guys cutting off our escape route! We'll find another way out of here. This tunnel has to go somewhere. I'm glad we're breathing and all, but what the hell are we gonna do now? Our only option is to head up. Are you kidding me? There'll be cops all over the place. Well, at any luck, they'll be too busy dealing with Mardi Gras. Notice us. Let's go. Well, damn it, this ain't a gas. Hey, you sure you need to grab that much of my ass? Oh, shut up and keep climbing, man. out there, I hit a payphone. Calls you the ride. Can you walk? Yeah, somebody give me a hand. I can get one. Uh, it's probably just gonna be easier to carry a sorry ass. Hold up. Come here. Hey, hey! Don't put me the fuck down! <laughs> if anybody asks, we say he's drunk. Y'all pick up that money. Let's go. Oh, God damn it. Hey man, get off the phone. Right fucking now. I insist that you apologize. Y'all keep an eye out.
We're in some deep shit and need your help. Where are you? Just off the parade route. Danny's hurt. I can't get a car to you because the roads are closed off. Listen, there's a grocery store on the backside of the cemetery. Can you get over there? Yeah. There'll be a car waiting at the loading dock. And Lincoln, be careful, yeah? You and Ellie both. We will. Sammy's having a car delivered. It'll be at the loading dock at the grocery store. God bless the old man. Let's go. Watch it! Cut through the wall, Lincoln. Cocksucking cops tell me the party's over? I'll tell you when the goddamn party's over! An untold number of federal officers were killed today when two gunmen robbed the federal reserve. Fuck, you hear that? We made the news! Shut the fuck up, Georgia! We need to keep moving! I'm telling you for the last fucking time, you need to tell me what you did with the purse. Done told you. Boat used in the robbery was found abandoned that, beneath the French ward. All units respond. <laughs> Suspects are a Negro male, approximately six foot four, a white male, approximately five foot eleven, and two around? unknown accomplices. They are armed and extremely dangerous. <laughs> Fuck, they found the boat. <gasps> Stay Excuse cool, me. man. We're still good. That's not what she's saying. There's something oh, wrong with that boy. <laughs> My friend here can't handle his booze. I know. I need to lay off the shine. Do not fucking move. Oh, shit. <clears throat> what the fuck are we gonna do? Ellis. Fucking pigs are everywhere. Ellis, chill out. Everything's gonna be fine. You guys, take Danny and the money. Get to the car. I'll deal with the cops. I'll no. warn them off you. Hey, no fucking way, man. It's all right. He ain't going alone. We all got a friend. Jesus. Amen. All right. Let's go. Yeah. 
fucking move! engaging the suspect. Respond with caution. All units, negative visual on suspect. Begin search in immediate vicinity. Where's Georgie? We got separated. Before we lost sight of him, he said he'd meet us back at the house. Available Get unit. in! Suspicious individual in vehicle. Officers investigating. All units in vicinity be advised. Suspect engaging with on-scene units. Hells are coming! We managed to get out of this. I'm sleeping on a bed of titties. I don't care what it fucking costs. They gone? Yeah, yeah, man, they done. I knew we could pull it off. I knew it. We're rich. Fuck. <laughs> I'm robbing people with a six gun. I fought the law, and the law can kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I fought the law and the law lost. <laughs>